As the highly contagious COVID Delta variant spreads across the country, more companies are announcing vaccine requirements. And that includes here at home. CBS 2's Jessica Layton is live in Nutley, New Jersey, where she spoke to scientists on the front lines. Jessica? Yeah, Hazel and Maurice, this lab in Nutley, New Jersey, is known for studying infectious diseases, HIV, tuberculosis, and now COVID-19. They've been getting positive samples from some of the local hospitals and testing them to see which variants are dominating. Right now, the answer is clear. These young scientists at this lab in Nutley are screening positive viral samples from patients in New Jersey and say if COVID had its own kingdom, Delta would be king. You can see that with each successive week, the prevalence of Delta in our samples increases by almost 10%, such that the samples that we just screened yesterday which were last week's samples, 100% of them were Delta. The highly contagious kind of COVID is driving a summer surge in the virus, both nationwide and here in the tri-state area. And what it wants to do is to be able to find as fast as it can more and more unvaccinated people. Right, because that's how it lives. That's how, that's how it's going to survive. Survive, thrive, and spread, which is why Dr. Barry Kreisworth of the Center for Discovery and Innovation says in more cases than not, vaccination shouldn't be an option anymore. It's being very selfish. When you're hurting other people, it's a little beyond your own civil liberties. And more companies are taking the same stance. Thursday, we learned those working in the Broadway industry will have to get the shot. And popular restaurants like Gramercy Tavern and Union Square Cafe that fall under the Union Square Hospitality Group will also soon require proof of the vaccine, not just for employees, but for anyone who wants to eat inside. We feel like we've got an amazing responsibility to keep our staff members and our guests safe, and that's what we're going to do. Mayor de Blasio says a major employer sending such a strong message to the unvaccinated is a big deal. But they're not going to have an opportunity to do a lot of things that they want to do because more and more it's going to be only for vaccinated people. And as for masks here in New Jersey, Governor Phil Murphy says he's not mandating them again yet, but he is recommending, strongly recommending, that everybody wear them indoors. Live in Nutley, New Jersey, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jessica.